all being sworn in here today. I guess priorities for you here moving forward. Priorities are to keep the momentum I've attempted to establish over the last month of keeping up to council. They're actually a fast moving bunch and I want to be better versed in not only the procedures of, of local government but also the the um, ways that they operate as a particular group here and I want to see us balance that fiscal responsibility with that moving the city forward at least getting um, the basic needs looked after. Well, our strategic plan that we're going to work on, we're going to start that uh, in that process of developing a process in early December. So you'll probably see over the next, you know, I hate to say a time frame, you know, it's not weeks, but it'll be months. You'll see or hear if, and if anybody wants to ask questions about it along the way, you'll, you'll hear of uh, progress that's being made but it's it's difficult and and my comment about changing culture I don't think um, an organization people in an organization try and aim at changing culture they try and aim at doing the right things right mm -hmm. and when they they succeed culture changes so it's it's an indirect uh, result of doing things well during your opening speech, you kind of suggested that uh, you want this council, to, it's going to be the people's council. There's a lot of input from the public. Well, yeah, and I don't want to mislead anybody. I don't think the council was not a people's council in the past. So I don't want people to, to go away, away thinking that that's what I was saying. What I'm saying is that I think when we have a strategic plan that communicates, a, that part of it is com effective communication, then then the public will naturally be better informed. Uh, strategic planning means you have to have regular discussion, regular goals, regular benchmarks that you um, aim to achieve. If we say we want to make, we want to communicate with uh, the public on a quarterly basis on our financial statements, we have to do it because we've said it publicly. And uh, so those kinds of things that we want to hold ourselves accountable to. So that's, that's where I see us making headway over the next next year for sure. Okay. Well, what have you, over this past month and a half, meeting of staff, meeting of council, what's the biggest thing you've learned? Well, I, I went through the three, the three things, but I, I'd say what, I, what I've learned is that everywhere there are opportunities. Uh, and, and I shouldn't say that I learned it here. I would say I have a, I, I'd like to apply it here. Uh, I'm applying that thinking to what I'm hearing, you know, in the street or uh, business owners or homeowners, uh, council, staff, that, uh, that everything I hear is really an opportunity to be better. So I'm, I'm sort of excited about it. It doesn't discourage me. It, uh, it encourages me, actually. Awesome. And being a local businessman, being out in the business community and someone with no political experience you think this is just uh, you think this is a breath of fresh air what to, what can you take from your experiences to help us even forward what do i bring to the table mm -hmm. um well whenever you have somebody new from the outside that doesn't have the political experience uh, you're going to get some bad things you know because they're not as well versed well oiled as, as somebody who's seasoned but i think what what i do bring is that that um, uh, perspective that comes from, I was born here, I was raised here, and I'll probably die here, happy to do so. So that kind of, of uh, experience with the community coming into the inside is hopefully more of an asset than a liability. Like I didn't, I didn't fly in from Toronto and, you know, five years ago and, and decided I wanted to live here and, and run for council. I, uh, I, I love the, the city and I want to see it, uh, it grow.